Hello everyone. Sorry I'm a couple minutes late or a couple seconds late. How are we tonight? I see Dinah's here. I think I saw Patty. Welcome. Hopefully YouTube will get those notifications out. And we're going to do some crafting tonight with another one of our brand new stencils. I'm so excited. It's so pretty. All right, let me get all messages here. There we go. Hi, Joanne. There we go. Some people are starting to hop on now. I don't know where to put my phone because I need a new thingy for the back in order for it to stick to my stand. So I'm just going to have to lean it here a second. Hi, Sean. Thank you for the thumbs up as you're hopping on. I appreciate that. And I'm going to grab, well, I'll grab it when I need it. Hello, hello. Hi, Karen. Hi, Sophia. And Gabby and Patricia. Thanks for being here, everybody. Hope you're excited to just sit back. Hopefully you have something to sip on. I'm still using this Christmas mug because it's one of my favorites. I love it. It's so nice and big. Hey, Cookie. <laughs> awesome. So glad you guys are here. Yay. As you're hopping on, say hello in the chat if you haven't already. I'd love it if you'd give the video a thumbs up. Uh, that just lets YouTube know that um, people are enjoying my videos. My Trifolio. Okay. I'm trying to think which one that is. Is that the one that I put like a notepad in and stuff? You'll have to let me know, Sophia. I am really wanting to do some paper crafting again. I like get that itch every couple weeks. And, um, okay, cool. Yeah, was it fun? I'd love to see pictures if you email me. I'm kind of wanting to make some more of these. I made these this summer when I was in Colorado. Um, it's made using cards and envelopes from Hobby Lobby. And it's got all these little flaps and little tuck spots. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to look. Did I even do a YouTube tutorial of this one? I don't know if I did. But it's another one that's a lay flat, which I really like. Um, they're easier to ship that way, too, because you can kind of flatten out the spines. So, that's awesome. I'm so glad that you used one of my tutorials. So, today, what I'm going to do is... Well, on Facebook today, I used... One of our brand new stencils. Let me show you. If you didn't um, catch my Facebook today, I love this stencil. You are my sunshine. It's 15 inches square. And I did it on this round. And you can see I did the crackle method of painting. And then stenciled on top of that. And I love how old and worn it turned out. I do still need to spray it. Um, to finish it off, but I absolutely love it. So this is You Are My Sunshine, a brand new um, stencil that we have. And what I want to do tonight is our other big 15-inch square one. This is a repeating pattern called French Rose Pattern. So I can go this way, and then if I mat I can match this up with this, or you can match side to side as well. So we're going to use this. I was digging around getting my snowman decor out and I found this, but I also found, look, a blank side. So we're going to do a Valentine something on this side. And I'm also using a wood heart shape from Dollar Tree. This is a thicker one. I think that's from this year. And then this wood love word, this is from Hobby Lobby. It's a laser cut that they double up. And um, I think it's like a buck or something like that. Did I already announce the winners? Um, for my 100,000 giveaway, yes, I did comment on their comment. If So if you were a winner, um, you should go back. If you want to see if you're a winner, go back to your comment on that video and um, see if I commented that you were a winner. I would hope that YouTube would notify you if I commented on your comment. Um, some people have responded and some people have not. So, um, if you want to know if you were one of my winners for my giveaway, 
go back to that video and find your comment and see if I commented that you were a winner. But yes, that was very, very fun. And can you believe we're almost already to 105,000? It's like, it's blowing my mind, you guys. But I just keep doing my thing. I just keep crafting. You guys keep coming and watching. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so we have a couple decisions to make. Um, this is my idea, is to layer like this. So what I have to decide is where do I put the pattern? I'm thinking I'm going to put it on the heart. What do you guys think? Do a solid color, paint the heart, and then do the roses, and then paint the love word. I think that's what I want to do so that you can see more of the roses if you see them on the heart. Yep. Yes. Thank you. We are staying warm. Um, it is very cold. I don't think I can see on my phone what the temperature is right now. Mm, it won't show me when I'm on this screen, but yeah, it's pretty cold. I'm the only comment you didn't acknowledge. When did you comment? Okay, so what I did is I used Random Comment Picker, and they I put the U, the link to that YouTube video, and it goes through and counts all the unique commenters, and then it randomly picks. And so I picked a bunch for all the different prizes um, that that were on there. So I didn't like go through and pick people. I just had the um, random comment picker choose people. If that makes sense. All right, so I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna incorporate reds and pinks. Do I wanna incorporate white? Maybe I should paint the heart white. There's just so many choices. Okay, we're gonna paint the heart white. I'm gonna paint the background of this light pink. I want to paint the word love with red. No, we're going to mix it up. We're going to paint that white and paint the background red. I always paint the words with red. All right, so let's first, now do I fill this hole or do I just put a ribbon there? I should probably fill it. Let's grab our little wood filler. Just want to fill this hole so we can't see it. That's where the uh, little string was. Okay. Let that sit there for a second. Awesome. Thanks for being here. Thanks for giving the video a thumbs up. If you enjoy when I come live. Okay. So we're going to let that dry for a second before we try to paint it. We'll set that aside. Okay, let's go ahead and paint this background with crimson, Waverly's crimson. And I will angle down so you guys can see what I'm doing. Nothing super uh, difficult. I get these wood panels from Hobby Lobby. They come in packs of three. And I buy them when they're on sale. So they end up being about $3 a piece. Same price as the Dollar Tree Plus ones, but they're a slightly larger. Slightly like a true 12 by 12. Now, you could definitely make the same project and do it any other colors that you'd like. You could do black and white would be really pretty, maybe with red roses on the heart. Um, I'm just going to do some reds and pinks on the back side of this snowman. All 
All right, that looks pretty good and even. So we'll put that in the box there. I'm probably just gonna leave the light blue around the edges from what I had before. Clean off my hands. So this project probably won't take too long. All right, put that there. And we're gonna do light pink on the love word. This again is from, this also is from Hobby Lobby. If you guys didn't catch my video for this week, um, it did go live Tuesday instead of Monday. I just had too much stuff after being on the cruise with Magnolia. I just needed that extra day. But um, it was the first in his tiered tray decor series. And this just reminded me of that because I used this color also. So this week's video was non-seasonal tiered tray decor and valentine's and then next week is going to be saint patrick's and spring i'm just going to do general spring and then we'll probably move on to easter and i'm not sure what else what else should we do i don't want to get too much into the summer yet before summer stuff is out Okay, so this is Ballet Slipper. This was Crimson. Those were both Waverly chalk paints from Walmart. Okay, I, my Ballet Slipper is getting really thick. I think I just need to go get another one. All right. Ooh. Let's just... Ooh. Get a new piece of sandpaper for one. All right. So just sand where that wood filler was. Don't really need to sand the back side, I guess. This is the side we're gonna paint. Did anybody see the video of the tiered tray? I look at all that wood they throw away. What wood are you talking about? Oh. Oh, on HGTV, they throw they throw wood away? Well, yeah, they should make it available to crafters to come get it and use it. What do you guys think for next week? Do you want one of my lives to be um, paper crafting? What do you guys want to see? Um, I'll also mention, I know sometimes on here, there's been questions about uh, joining Magnolia to be able to uh, utilize the creator discount. If there's anyone who's interested in that, I did put a link to my Facebook group that is um, information about the Magnolia business. So, Or you can simply email me your questions. I put my email address there as well. You like paper crafting, Karen? Where did you get the heart surface? This one is from Dollar Tree. It had a, had a string on it. Oh good, Dinah, you liked the tiered tray? You'd like to know the, the what? Oh, the sander? This is in my Amazon storefront. Um, if you guys go to 
my link tree, which I put, I put, um, in the description of this video, uh, it has all my links, including my Amazon storefront. And this sander is in there. Hmm. Yep. Ugh, I got a little something, a little piece of something there. All right, so this is the piece that we're going to stencil on. You know what, I should have done the edges. Well, I think it's okay. I won't worry about it. You are welcome. Uh, email me if you can't find it. If you can't find that link and I will help you out with that. All right, so we've got our pieces painted. Let's dry this off a little bit. Actually, I should be drying off the part because this is what we're going to stencil on. Okay. When I paint a surface that I'm going to stencil, I like to lightly sand it. This is a uh, 400 grit sandpaper, so it's pretty smooth. And I just like to sand it lightly to make it really smooth for the stencil. That way our stencil will lay nice and flat. All right, let's switch places here. Let's move this over here. And we're just gonna need a small part of this. I don't think it matters which way you lay the stencil, but I just wanna peel it back enough to get our heart under there. So we're just gonna fuzz it a little bit. And we're doing this just to get a little bit of lint on the back of the stencil so that it doesn't stick so much to our heart to pull up any of that white paint. It shouldn't because I sanded it and I made sure it was all the way dry. But just to be safe, you're gonna wanna fuzz your stencil at least a couple times. All right, so instead of taking this all the way off, I'm just gonna place my heart under here. I feel like I got a little fuzz right there. Let's get that off. That just came from my towel, no big deal. All right, smooth this out. And I think I'm gonna use Sugar Plum. This is a fun, well, let me ask you guys. Sugar Plum is still available. French Rose is not available right now. Can you see the difference? I don't know if you can see the difference. Which one should I use? Uh, other things I have are this red and this light pink. Which one should I use for the roses? It is a beautiful stencil, yes. You guys think Sugar Plum? Janice's Sugar Plum. So that'd be this one. It's a little brighter. I mean, maybe it does go better with that red. 
Okay, I'm looking at your votes. Right now it's three and three, four and three. Gray. Carlene, you're funny. All right, so it looks like it's up to me because you guys are like haves and haves. Let me see how my French rose looks. I haven't used it in a while. I'm hoping this color is going to come back with the spring product release in a couple weeks. So fun fact, your chalk paste, when it seems like it's starting to get a little dry, this is just distilled water. I'm spritzing in here and you just mix it up because chalk paste will reconstitute with water. You don't like too much pink and red? That's okay. You could do this whole project with um, different colors for sure. For sure. One year I did red and white and teal. I think it was last year for Valentine's. Those were my colors and that was really fun too. I like to mix it up. All right, we're gonna use French, we're gonna use French rose for the French rose pattern. And you guys have seen me do this before. It's so easy and you get such a lovely result just from spreading the chalk paste over the stencil. Just like you're spreading your whipped cream cheese on your bagel. Okay, and then once I have it completely covered, I'm gonna come back and just pick up any extra. Okay, we ready for the peel and reveal? I'm excited. Gotta find a place to hold my heart down. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, that turned out so good. Looky look. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the detail in that stencil. So pretty. Okay, I'm going to set my stencil over here. I'm going to wash that when I'm done. And I don't think I'm going to go around the edges. Sometimes I'll go around the edges with the color, but I, I feel like I just like it with the pattern going off, going off the edge there. All right, so that, isn't that so pretty, Cookie? I know. French rose pattern. You guys want this stencil. Trust me. Now I could have done the stencil on the back of this instead, but I just chose to do it on the, on the rose. I mean on the heart. Let me dry this a little bit. Okay, so I was turning on my hot glue gun. So this is gonna be real pretty, and then we'll put this, the lighter pink on top. Okay, that is dry. 
definitely so many options. You are right. Now, what I do want to do here is sand these corners of my red frame. I just want to give it a little bit of a border. So for paper crafting, here, let me talk to you. For paper crafting next week, what do you guys think about, now hear me out before you say no, a little brag book that's Valentine themed, but it, it could be like to put pictures of your kids or your grandkids in. If you don't have like a spouse, or you could do both. You could put a picture of, of a spouse, Because really your Valentines are the ones you love the most, right? So that could be, I feel like it could be anybody. It could be your friends too, if you don't have kids or grandkids. Hoping that's going to lay flat. Simple. What do you guys think? Does it need anything else? The other thing I have, but I don't really have a lot of it, is this lace ribbon from Dollar Tree's Valentine. I have enough I could just do one piece across the top. Please, no paper crafting. Oh. Amy, how come you don't like paper crafting? Just curious. All right, I wanna see where my middle is for this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right about where I have the point. Perfect. You think without the, you think without the um, ribbon, lace? Yeah, I think it contrasts too much with the roses. Okay. So let's get this put together. I think my glue gun is warmed up enough, maybe. Okay, I just wanna make sure. You know what, let me, I'm gonna glue the love onto here first. Gives me something to grab onto. All right. Okay. So press that on first. I need a new glue stick. All right. Now I have this upside down. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, thanks, Patty. So 
you guys don't like the red on the background. The reason I like this is because I can then hang it on the wall. But you could definitely just keep the hanger that came on this heart and just do put that back in and then just have the heart that hangs. Now, I know some of you are saying the love word is too light, but it really doesn't look too light when you're looking at it in person. But, you know, of course, any ideas I do, you do not have to do yours the same way I do mine. For sure. just have some dust here from sanding it, so I'm going to wipe that off. And some glue strings. But I think what we all agree on is this pattern stencil is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss Farm Girl. Yes, you've got some videos to catch up on then, don't you? Yep. Yeah, so take black to the outer of love so it may pop. Yep, you could do that too, for sure. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. I know that was pretty quick, but um, yeah. It's been a day. So um, I will be live again tomorrow on Facebook for a special event with Craft on the Clock. It's all repurposing jars and crafting with jars. So um, I will be there, I think it's like 12, 15 p.m. Eastern. So a little bit earlier in the day. And um, yeah, let me know. Look at those links. I've got the link to the stencil, I've got the link to the Facebook group if you're interested in learning more about the Magnolia business. Um, we just started our new um, incentive period for this year, and um, I'd be happy to answer any questions you have to either get your products like this stencil at a discount, or if you want to make a little bit of money with the um with the business side of it. So thanks so much, everyone. And we'll see you next time. Bye.